Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the players for our first match. From Belarus, Victoria Azarenka. From the United States of America, Serena Williams! Well, what better way to spend International Women's Day than an evening watching two of the most inspiring women and mothers you can find in any walk of life. Two great rivals come together for another battle royale as Serena Williams and Victoria Azarenka meet for the 23rd time in their careers. We've already had fireworks this evening, but expect some more for this second round encounter between two former two-time champions here at the BMP Paribas Open in Indian Wells. Pete Lodges here in the commentary box, and once again I am joined by Naomi Cavaday. Now, I already know you're excited about this one, but out of the many facets to this match, what are you most excited about? Ooh. <laughs> I thought um, I'd go with a tough one to start. I think, I mean, I mean just, uh, I think the sheer aggression that we're going to see on the court, I mean, this will just be baseline belting at its finest. Yes, Azarenka maybe doesn't hit the ball as hard as she once did, but still, she's always looking to be on the front foot. And, of course, we know Serena is as well. It has been blustery all day. That will be a factor for this encounter as well. The wind has been causing havoc over the last two or three days here in Indian Wells. Check still in fully with us for coin toss. Chair on uh, for this one. Usual conditions. Uh, we do have electronic line calling on this court. Just make a request for challenge in time and Marin verbally. 25 seconds between points. Shot clocks are in four corners. Down on the next to the exits. Um, on for coaching, you know how it goes. And uh, TV changeovers, please stay here 10 hours time. At the end, just take forward with ladies facing that way, please. If you need something, something's wrong, let me know. Any questions, girls? Questions? No? Vika, head sales? All yours? Yeah? Head, Vika. Receive? Ladies. So sure. Was... Yeah, yeah. We have you. Yeah. No problem. We have you. Yeah. So that was Azarenka winning the toss and electing to receive first. What do you make about that decision, no? I think just getting a game to get used to the pace of Williams, nothing really to lose in that. I mean, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because you look at Serena, hasn't played since the Australian Open, but there is no one better at taking a large chunk of time off and coming back and just being pretty good. We've certainly seen that, haven't we, from Serena Williams, of course. Uh, what she achieved last year was quite incredible. Uh, Runner-up at Wimbledon and the US Open, and of course this year, went very deep at the Australian Open as well. Hoping to go deep here once again in Indian Wells, of course, as a two-time champion. She had a bye in the first round, being the 10th seed here. But Vera Lapko was the player to suffer the defeat against Victoria Azarenka in an all-Belarusian affair. Belarusian tennis really is beaming right now, of course, with the rise of Sabalenka and Sasnovich. And Azarenka in the last Fed Cup match couldn't even get into the starting singles team. It's quite astonishing. And of course, she is a two-time Grand Slam winner. Victoria Azarenka, twice winning at the Australian Open. She is one of the megastars of the sport. And uh, as I said, it is a battle of the mums. She's still working her way back. Do you feel she has the capabilities to get back to, let's say, top ten? Of course, she is a former world number one, and do you perhaps see her even going right to the very summit once more? Yeah, you know, I, I, I do. I, I think if I just lowered that slightly to top 20 is where I, I really think that she will get back to. Um, absolutely, it's within her capabilities. I mean, she's been quite emotional in recent times, I think, in press conferences, talking about her struggles on the court and off the court as well. I mean, it, it's, it's difficult sometimes to differentiate between the two. But it has been a struggle. It, I don't think it has been as, as smooth as she was a, would have liked. But even when she's been out at the tournaments and competing, it's just been really difficult just to get that momentum going. 
did speak very positively after that win over Latko and also spoke very positively of her opponent, quoting that Serena Williams is the toughest opponent out there. And I think it's safe to say most of the WTA circuit have agreed with that quote over the last, what, 10, 15 years. It's a sport that Serena Williams has completely dominated. Of course, she's a 23-time Grand Slam champion. But here, she has uh, won just the twice, which is incredible to say that, but of course did have a 14-year hiatus. What are you expecting from Serena Williams today, Naomi? I mean, of course, she hasn't played that much competitive tennis. This is her first match since the quarterfinals at the Australian Open, and that very tough loss to please give her a match that she was in complete control of. What do you expect? I mean, I expect her to be Serena. I mean, really, I think there's often uh, a lot of speculation as to which Serena is going to come out. We've seen her take large chunks of time out of her schedule over and over again. And she just comes back firing. I mean, I guess she's not necessarily super sharp from the very beginning, but I mean, what she can deliver is more than good enough. So I think we'll see her grow into the match as well. I think she might be a little tentative at first, just see how she's feeling out there. And then as the match progresses, she'll, I think, look stronger and stronger. And I think the start is crucial for Azarenka. Well, you also may have just seen the... Uh head-to-head -head flash up there momentarily as I say this is their 23rd meeting quite incredible and it is Serena who leads the head-to-head 17 to 4 the last meeting was here on this court and it was the final it was Victoria Azarenka who ended up being victorious on that day of course that was the, the title she won in 2016 the last title coming in Miami so that was her second last title of course doing the, the sunshine double the Belarusian we see Patrick Moratoglu alongside the rest of the team in the Serena camp. But this, if Azarenka was able to beat the great champion is Serena Williams, this will be the first time ever that she's been able to win back-to-back -back matches against the American. So many of their meetings as well have come in final, so it must feel a little strange that this one's only in the second round. I saw a shot there of uh, Vin Fizet back with Azarenka. What do you think he can add to her game? Well, it's going to be really interesting. I think she's just been lacking a little bit of direction. I think she's always been a bit, big striker. and uh, But I think she's just kind of lost her way. She's had, she really has to reinvent herself, I think, you know, after a significant amount of time away from the match court. I, I, sometimes I think players don't want to do that. They want to just be the player that they were, but you're different. You know, you've moved on, you're older, you, more time, more things have happened, different experiences. So uh, hopefully he can give her a little bit of a different look. Seconds. We know that he's incredibly tactically minded. I mean, that's for sure. He's always talked about that. So it'll be interesting to see how that will work with somebody like Azarenka, who doesn't tend to take into consideration her opponent's tactics. Not as a priority and it's definitely there in the background on the big moments and she's of course considering it but really her focus on herself and what she does this one should be an absolute firecracker second round of the bmp paribas open in indian wells serena williams former world number one against another former world number one victoria as So two great champions, two inspirational people, two two-time former winners here at Indian Wells, and two mothers come together on International Women's Day. In the second round here at the BMP Paribas Open, it is Serena Williams against Victoria Azarenka for the 23rd time. And it will be the American to get this one underway. Naomi Cavadet and myself, Pete Rogers, to talk you through. Ready. 
play. Tactically, how do you feel Serena will go about this one? I think she'll keep it quite contained early stages. See what Azarenka is bringing to the court. She's never one really to overplay. Serena she does what is necessary to get the job done. such a big reason why she's had the longevity that she has especially when you think about all of the grand slams that she's won I mean you, you have to go the distance seven matches across two weeks got to be efficient so I think she'll really just be looking at what Azarenka is going to bring and then work up from there Short from Williams. 13, 15. Like you're pouncing on it. Talked about the wind being a factor earlier on today. But around 20 miles per hour. It has died down to around 13 now. There's all sorts of sandstorms going on earlier on, or at least mini sandstorms. It was still tennis paradise here in Indian Wells. A little bit chilly. Mm. Yeah, the temperature has dropped along with the wind. Is the case, of course, in the desert. Can be blisteringly hot in the day and then very cold at night. Again, no Williams. Solid opening service game from Serena Williams. And the father approves of that. It is quite incredible, though, though, isn't it, how Serena Williams can have months out of the game and come back and look like she's not Mr. B. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, she's, she's incredible for so it. many reasons, but that's another reason. Yeah, I mean, and it's something, as I say, it's always been a common conversation at the Australian Open when we often didn't see her since the US Open. And everybody's saying, what sort of Serena's going to come out? What's going to happen? And every time, oh, yeah, it's Serena. And <laughs> she's on form. She just knows how to summon that level from herself. It is extraordinary. No one else can do that. these two meeting in the second round they have met earlier in a tournament once before but that was at the WTA finals which is of course a round robin event but technically it went down as a round one but otherwise this is the earliest in a so-called conventional Close. tournament Close, Last year, Serena Williams met her sister in round three. So she's getting used to playing legends early on. Yeah, and it ha it's now been a full year since she's been back. I mean, amazing. Only a year of what she's achieved in that time. So phenomenal. Talked about the power hitting you were looking forward to seeing. How about that rally? All right, this is what we came for. Exactly what we were expecting. Big hitting in the end as a ranker getting out muscled. 
not surprising really she really needs to try and get Serena off balance before that happens because the power will just be overwhelming The one standout thing I think for me since Serena has been back is actually who she's lost to. She hasn't lost many matches at all, but she's only lost to incredible players. Either those right at the top end. Dirty fourteen. Will just points out Naomi's having a little issue with a bit of coughing, so she will get to a point. And I know likes to keep the audience in suspense, but usually not this much. More importantly, it's a break point for Serena Williams. Let's sing it. Opportunity, but you were saying, saying no. Well, what I was uh, <laughs> just getting to it's just the excitement of getting the, a point like that so early on. Um, what I was getting to, I mean, the, the level of players that she lost, she just didn't lose to anyone who wasn't absolutely world class. I mean, the list really is outstanding. Venus here in Indian Wells, Osaka in Miami, Sharapova, Roland Garros. Kerber, Konta, Kvitova, and Pliskova. The only people she's lost to. That's been the other thing as well with regards to, to when she hasn't perhaps found her best tennis, she's still found ways to win with just her sheer yeah. competitive spirit. And so everybody that she, I mean, she hasn't lost many matches, but the only people she's lost to have been in a grand sem semi final or better. Just extraordinary. She's up against another player today, who has, of course, been in Grand Slam finals. Hazarenka holds serve well there, gets out of jail, and levels things up at a game of peace. And for, for all we know about Victoria Azarenka, I mean, she will just be relishing this opportunity just to really see where she's at with her game. You know, she's still looking to improve, still really looking to get off the mark big time. Getting on top of that one. players have had some special meetings in the past no doubt about that Zarenka one of few players who has caused Serena Williams problems on the tennis court at times okay it's a very one-sided head-to-head record but there have been a lot of tight matches that have just gone Serena's way Open final and 7 5 in the third. Cincinnati final. It was Azarenka's turn to win 7 6 in the third, but Madrid. Serena Williams winning 7 6 in the third as well in the, the last 16 there in 2015. I just feel both players have, have settled into this one now. And it's just weapons everywhere you look. It doesn't matter which end it is, which side. Could come from anywhere. Oh, to serve, making life easier for Serena Williams as it has done throughout her career.
vorzählt. Das Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Games now, then. Yes. Tina Williams has been like she's in control of and being pegged back How she played that shot, but she managed it. Oh, I've got to see a replay of that. <laughs> that was down so low. It didn't look like she'd gone underneath it that well to play such a soft drop shot, but she did. A little flick of the leg just to make sure it went over. So early. You can see Williams is really going for the second serve. I mean, she that double fault a couple of points ago, but I mean, she knows as a rank will be all over that second serve. I mean, it's a good second serve from Williams, but it's as a rank as thinks she loves to attack a second serve. She's very good at it. Taking it, I think, on the drive volley and then just backed off. Yes. Defense from the Belarusian just to hang in there. Well, Serena really had worked herself into a really strong position there, though. Again, I was just feeling like that rally Azarenka was unable to get Serena on the stretch before the power became overwhelming. It was Williams that came up with the error in the end. thing through the last 12 months that has improved oh, I say one thing one of many of the long list of everything that Serena's doing really but the serve the pace on the serve oh, it's just looking so good An easier volley than the previous one. Yes. At the moment, you see me almost allergic to getting over the line in a game. A lot of game points Serena's having, but still unable to close games out. She's actually building the points really mm. well. It's, it's the finishing shots that she's just not, not quite being clinical. Looks sharp from the back of the court, though. And we talked about the fact, you know, it's been a long time since she was playing a match. And how amazing she is with regards to adapting. To tournaments without playing match tennis. Maybe we're just seeing a couple of signs of very early rust. Pressure. 
Chicha was going to... Chicha Three very quick to overrule there. Yes. I think it's got to be a little annoyed, annoyed there, because it was a great return. Serena Williams did get the ball back in place, so point replayed. Strong, strong return from Azarenka. She's really focusing down the middle of the court, which is something that she likes to do. It's also effective against Williams. She does have a, a little bit of a, a heavy landing on the serve. Can try and capitalise. Well, another game stolen by Azarenka. And the Belarusian goes up an early break in set one. Azarenka leads. Easily could have been three love to Serena Williams. As it is, it's Azarenka who leads 2-1. Gentlemen, find your seats quickly, please. Thank you. Time. Let gentlemen behind the players take first available seat for now, please. Thank you. Turn. Well, that clearly felt good. Right off the middle of the racket. I mean, when it's in the zone for Serena, you can see that right in the centre. Perfection. I think there's a little bit of almost frustration in the fact she finds herself a breakdown here in that reaction. Especially having played some pretty good tennis so far. Made another. 
just feel like the wind is uh, causing a couple of issues here and there. Definitely a little blustery. It's not, it's not too bad, that's for sure. But I do think we've had a few extra errors. Too hot to handle for Azarenka. 30, 40. Yeah, and that's the thing. If Azarenka cannot get Williams out wide, I think, in the rally, that pace will just become too much. Serena has such a way of just winding it up through the point, each one just slightly bigger than the last. Just piles so much pressure on. Classic Serena Williams. You know, unable to convert the two previous break points and missed a, a load of game points in the previous game. Most normal tennis players would have been frustrated and had a dip. Nope, keeps coming back and gets the break straight back. Such an inspiring person on International Women's Day. International Women's Day. Williams actually uh, penned uh, an awe-inspiring essay, saying uh, women have to show ourselves and our female counterparts compassion and reality. It is online if you want to read the whole of it. the baseline. What a brutal point from the great champion. Three huge strikes just launching at Azarenka. I mean, she was just trying to keep up, get a racket to the ball. She couldn't on the last one. punching back Challenge, I think. 30, 40. Acting against it. And of course, fearful of that big return of Azarenka's. We're certainly seemingly going for a little more with that second serve. Shulvin Fisset's probably pretty happy with what he's seen from his player so far. 
I was going to say he'll be even happier if you can get a break here, but it's saved. And a wonderful ace. First ace of the match for either player. He hasn't had to hit a ball for the last three points. Two double faults and an ace. He was overcorrected there, it seemed. I think she's definitely aware of that Azarenka's second serve return, as uh, I think anyone would be. There's going to be a fair amount of pressure on this second serve now. Just an incredible shot going at that speed with the ball that low to get that power. Yeah, it did drop, didn't it? It was incredibly tough. I mean, so much racket head speed to get the spin to bring the ball up and down. I mean, most players would have just tried to nudge that away. going toe to toe Azarenka. on that occasion it's Azarenka who comes out on top Another glorious backhand. And Azarenka looks like she's enjoying this one. And she breaks again. Leads 3-2. Three Time. Got to love that sign, haven't you? Well, uh, Andrew Krasny said a little earlier on today, just wondered whether they bring the buggies out on court with each other at the same time. And it is uh, wonderful to watch, isn't it? Two mothers playing some quite incredible tennis in the opening five games. Strange, he didn't even run for that. 
But we have seen a few breaks already. And actually, for me, the standout so far has been the level of returning from both players. They're really just driving the returns down the middle with plenty of pace. Again, it's just the finishing ball. Phenomenal tennis though, from both players. Oh, I mean, the forehand down the line from Serena had so much pace. It was an injection of pace, but you didn't really see it coming. There was no extra wind-up, no extra racket head speed. Just the perfect timing and connection. Still didn't win the point, though. Just a little delay between the first and the second serve. You're doing a good job doing that subtly. Oh, it's a rip roaring forehand. The thing is with these two, you just don't know where the winner's going to come from at what time. Yeah, I, I mean, it could come from any end, any wing, anywhere on the court. I mean, literally anywhere. Both of these players could just find a winner. Slight miss it. As a rank will take it either way. It's going into the wind as well, so probably to Serena looked like it was going wide the whole way. Just the little thing things at the moment are going as a way. Oh, just stunning. Quite phenomenal tennis. And just a little look from Serena, as if to say, I can do this all night. Azarenka looks like she's going to make her do that. Incredible scrambling. There's a lot of history between these two. Great rivalry. Let's There's also a lot of respect Let's between the two players. First time that they've met, though, in a couple of years. In fact, three years. I feel they're just trying to lay down a marker since the, the gap of not meeting. As I said earlier, I feel it looks like she's really enjoying this battle and perhaps playing the best tennis that I've seen her play since she's returned to the sport. Oh, I think so. For a sustained period of time and under the pressure that she's been under with Williams, absolutely. This might have been what she really needed. I mean, whether she wins or loses, she's been so tantalizingly close to finding the level that she wants for quite some time she really has produced it in patches but not necessarily for long enough 
Williams had that run to the semi-finals in, in Miami last year. Called a finalist in Tokyo as well. But here, I think it's almost kind of dragging it out of her. It's, it's definitely bumped her up a level. Stunning attempt. Do you think there's a bit of muscle memory in there as well for, for Azarenka in terms of these two have had so many great matches? The fact that they step on court against one another and that buzz and that feeling all comes back. I'm sure. Absolutely. I think also just the element of when you're at the top of the game, you're at the top of the game regularly, so you're producing that level regularly. And when you're trying to get back to there, Azarenka has just struggled because she hasn't been playing somebody like Serena regularly because she hasn't been reaching the latter stages and for a large chunk of the time that she's been back for she hasn't been playing Again, Williams. Well, maybe we should apologise to Victoria Razarenka with regards to the curse Serena. of the commentator to just say how great she's been playing in these opening exchanges double fault and the break is handed back again I think the double faults from both players are a combination of the wind and the fact that they are playing a phenomenal returner. It's the same story for both of these players. You cannot just roll it in. You will lose the point. And the tendency is to try and just roll it in a little bit, maybe just give yourself a bit of safety when you have got a bit of a swirling wind. Anticipation set off so early for that drop, drop shot. It was rather telegraphed, wasn't it? But Serena was already leaning forward, as you say, already had taken a couple of steps, knew she was going to track it down, knew she was hitting that winner. I think Azarenka had a fair idea that was going to happen as well. Taking the ball so early, taking all the time away from Azarenka. Those players, any half chance they are getting to step up the court, and they are doing just that. Both 
they're struggling to hold serve right now. Already seen four breaks of serve in this encounter. This has a ranker about to make it five. The ripper and the crowd here on Stadium One absolutely loving every moment of this absorbing contest. Well, you can just see the reaction of Serena each time she manages to force her way through Azarenka. I think that just shows how tough it is for her. She's used to getting short balls off of these shots. I mean, she is striking it so well. Azarenka is just dealing with it. Applauding that one. It's a wondrous return. For me, always been one of her biggest strengths, her return. I absolutely love watching it. She takes it so early. So she's really rushing herself, but does so well. Gets creative as well. Yes. I mean, we've been talking about the return of the amount of breaks and serve we've had in this. But it's no surprise that entering Indian Wells, Azarenka and Serena hold the top two spots on tour for return games won so far this year. Azarenka 49.4, Serena 48.1%. So maybe we shouldn't be too surprised we've seen so many breaks. And Williams. It's a big hole. And for the first time since the opening service game, Serena Williams comes through a service game and leads again. 4-3. level of tennis the type of level you expect of a final talking of finals in fact I mentioned the head-to-head -head and I keep mentioning it four times that Azarenka has beaten Serena Williams all four have been in finals she has the most victories over Serena Williams in finals which is hardly surprising because not too many players have been able to defeat her in finals until recently of course in the slams let's go
it's safe to say azarenka has been playing as if this is a final in the first 45 minutes. Game this one, you feel. Zarenka easily could have broken again for a 4 3 lead. Been up a break twice in this set. She feels she falls two games behind now. It will hurt with how much she's invested in the first 45 minutes. Here for she, which is uh, the, the tournament are donating $100 for every ace today. There's a fourth double fault for Azarenka, no donation there. You should get the players to donate for the double faults. Yeah. Tormek <laughs> can donate for Well, how the, the players who, who receive the double faults? So, because they're getting a freebie anyway. Oh, right, okay. Right. Yeah. Instead of double punishment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, we want to be equal and nice on our on a on the International Women's Day, of course. Oh, Stop again. The angle she's able to generate with the off backhand. Just incredible. The accuracy from that position. Quite find enough penetration on that return. It wasn't too short, but I mean, it just has to be perfect. Certainly suited Serena. Terrific footwork from the American. An adjustment to the net court. And a real bit of momentum now for the American. That's really frustrating for Azarenka. I mean, she's been great from the beginning of this match. I mean, maybe just those double faults were really interrupting. I think that might be the frame gone. All of a sudden, it is the tenth seed serving for the first set. How long Azarenka can keep the level as high as it has been throughout this encounter it has just started to dip, no doubt about that. Well, Serena Williams has just stayed the same, if not gone even higher. Oh. 
I think it really has been the case actually for both players whether they could sustain that level just in a little dip in energy has she found the baseline I think she has as Arenka showing some fight at the back end of this set. It looked like it was just it was rolling away from her. Almost three games in a row going down 30 love, but a break point to keep herself alive now. Just incredible gets from both players. What a game that was from Azarenka. Finds form at just the right time and does break to keep herself in this first set. Had a few twists and turns in this opening set. It's generally been just phenomenal tennis. Almost as if these two have just turned back the clock in regards to all of those classic matches that they've had in the past. Are we going to get another one tonight in regards to the, the full match? As a ranker looking to prolong this set, so having to stay in it. 4 5.
there's a little bit of help, but I don't think Serena was getting there anyway. That net court just softening up the forehand cross court from Azarenka. Of course, we were talking about both players maybe just lowering their level at different times. You feel Serena's levels dropped a fraction now, having got to 5-3. Very strange. Just seemed to stop moving her feet. Serena Williams with that forehand. Far too casual. And Azarenka makes her pay. Yeah, looking really good, Azarenka. Absolutely. Got such a nice balance of play. And the level of discipline has been outstanding. Being aggressive on the right shots. I think maybe she could just knock it up about five more percent. Just that extra bit of penetration. But Thank you, just defending at the right times. It's been really good work. Objectives to, to describe great shots in truth right now. It's just so beautifully struck. I mean, it's just sunk down low, didn't even need to move her feet. She knew it was coming right to her racket. It's one of the hardest shots to play inside out, backhand, off the hip, especially off that sort of pace. Azarenka responding incredibly well. She lost three games in a row, was down 30 love as well. Now it's five all. Yeah. See, like the football right now as a ranker. But with regards to Serena Williams, you know, one through three games to get to five three went up thirty love, and then there was definitely a dip. Do you put that down to a little bit of rust, having not played a match since late January? I'm not sure, really. Uh, to be honest, just maybe the, the flow of the match, and that just happened to be one of the dips. on Azarenka's side both players just refusing to back off from the baseline it's brutal stuff Serena not happy about something I'm not sure whether she would have been expecting this I don't think we were expecting this mm. there's always the potential but we just haven't seen this sustained level from Azarenka for so long Serena very rarely underestimates her opponents. This was part of what I was trying to get at, I think. I think we talk about how incredible Serena Williams is with regards to finding top gear and despite not playing many matches but I've always found maybe first match the first set of the first match back there is sometimes a bit of rust with regards to perhaps closing out sets the finishing ball but she's usually able to get through that first set because usually yeah. in, a, in a first round or a second round she's not playing against someone playing this level yes absolutely this is definitely a little unusual. I mean, there aren't any easy rounds in a tournament like this. But you would say that maybe this one is <laughs> slightly tougher. That's a second round. I mean, this is the sort of tennis you, you see in a final. Oh, I hope we see this sort of tennis mm. in the final.
got a very good play poker face, hasn't he, Alexis? He looks very calm. Was like a laser skidding off, off the court. <laughs> I mean, she could not have hit that any harder. It has tough for her to get it through as a renko. It's taken a couple of extra shots here and there. It seems like Serena not really on board with that continuing. Just upping the pace there. Absolutely everything, emotionally, physically, and skill-wise too. Every single shot is just the best it can possibly be. The attention to detail, the focus, the, raw the emotion. commitment, the emotion in every shot, exactly. Good kick serve there, just jumping a little wider than Azarenka was anticipating. Talked about that stat with regards to being the best returners in the business right now. Second serves have been under real pressure. So that was a great second serve from Serena. Both players with extremely similar statistics on serve incidentally before that point points one on the first serve both had 59 percent points one on the second serve azarenka 38 percent serena 39 percent that's how tight this match is yes. so well off the baseline there azarenka with the traveling that fast with spin kicking up off this surface yeah and for me again particularly when she was at her best but i'm including this set in that to be honest how well she deals with depth as i say i mean her and serena for me have always been in a different league the strength to stay that tight to the baseline <laughs> I just don't believe, I mean, if you're a coach and, and your player is going out to play either one of these, I just don't believe that depth is going to get you 
much. You need to hit the ball deep. Just don't want to hit the ball short. They'll just hit winners. But it, it's not like it's a tactic where they're going to break down. They're just too strong. Again, saves the break point, comes up with another big serve when it matters most. Physically struggling a bit in this set. I mean, it's not just been the fact it's gone for an hour and six minutes, it's been the intensity. It has been relentless. We always talk about match intensity of players trying to find in their match intensity after timeout. So, to not play a match since the quarterfinals of the Australian Open then to step into this one. Game. Well, after all that in that game, game, it was an epic game, but three big serves gets Serena Williams out of it. And it's the American who's a game away again. Leads 6-5. down there just whispered something to herself couldn't understand her lip reading skills aren't that good any idea Naomi just with regards to what would you whisper to yourself coming into this game I think just that I know it sounds silly especially when you're talking about Serena but just that you can do it you can get over the line this has been such a challenge she must have had doubts through this set When someone is just soaking up what you're throwing at them, and what you're throwing at them is this, I mean, of course, it's going to flash through your mind. I mean, maybe I, I can't overcome this. I'm sure she'll very quickly snap out of that. One of the many reasons that make this matchup so absorbing so great to watch is the fact you've got the power game of Serena Williams but the stubbornness of Azarenka who just refuses to back off from the baseline and I think that sometimes must shock Serena Williams because she pretty much pushes everyone off the baseline <laughs> he's able to do that there though <laughs> and again stepping up the court in a flash yeah, and so many players are just so intimidated by the pace and depth from Williams because it is just so damaging. Then they become scared of it and then they change what they're doing. Azarenka just doesn't care. She's just gone and hit the baseline. Do it three, four times in a row. Then you might get the point.
when you think it can't get better. It's over and over again, pummeling it. So I said it a while ago, I'm running out of adjectives. And it's just terrific power tennis match that we are watching right now between two inspirational players. That shot there has almost just become the norm for this set. It shows you the level it has been at. An hour and 11 minutes they've been playing for. Serena Williams has a set point. inspiring set of incredible power tennis first time in three years that these two have met on the tennis court and they're showing us what we have missed that was an incredible set of tennis and Serena Williams has taken it seven for five Well, big question here, Naomi, is how is Victoria Azarenka going to react to that set? I mean, that has to be the best set of tennis that she's played since returning to the sport. And, and yet she ended up losing. Yeah, I think comfortably it is the best set of tennis Williams, that she's seven. played in, in, in years. She's just got to do it again. She nearly won it. So just put herself in the same position again. She might win this one. You never know. Can't really anticipate Serena's going to drop her level. Lovely. There's a sixth double fault for Serena, Serena Williams. Would be a little concerned with that, but. The second serve returns have been that brutal. You can understand it. Something a little different. I have seen it 
Just on one or two occasions, but hasn't really been a feature of the match. And again, though, I think Serena Williams would have got there. She's moved really well. Mm. thing wasn't it when Serena Don't Williams of course me. came back from motherhood and in Indian Wells she was saying that she always believed she was going to get back to being the player she once was and that it was a journey and that was the thing that was mostly assessed the movement of her game and I think this, it has been exactly that a journey and there's been improvements almost every tournament since then yeah, and what's been so interesting is I don't think she's tried to rush it. Mm. And I think she really embraced the fact that she was in just a completely new situation. Wasn't trying to be what she was before. Oh, that's an extraordinary shot. Full reach, yet still able to control it up the line. And the movement of Azarenka has got stronger as well. Definitely quicker with the first step than she was maybe just a year ago. Double of the game, seventh. Well, that's your ready for the American. much on the court tonight certainly not off the ground anyway she's still really going for those second serves isn't she even with those seven double falls that was very deep very, very aggressive again the threat from Azarenka even affecting somebody as elite as Serena Williams <laughs> And the break point down finds a first serve. Yes. Gets herself on the front foot. Just the second first serve she's found in this game. How often has she done it in her career, though? That was possibly the difference in that first set. At five all, break point down, three big serves in a row. And that was her game. Lost a bit of a rhythm though on the first serve. Advantage. Azarenka. 
It's interesting. It seems like just getting that first set under her belt in that sort of fashion so tightly, it's almost like it, there's no sense of relief with it at all for Serena. I mean, she's come out here and straight away is still really frustrated. Pressure valve hasn't been released, has it? As Arenka shown great courage and character that we have seen time and time again throughout her career. After losing such an epic first set, responds straight away in set two to take the first game and pick up the break. Well, if Azarenka can maintain this through the match, it'll be a huge step forward for her. And she'll be feeling pretty good. I mean, it was quite even across the board, really. A few more unforced errors for Williams, but uh, we come to get used to that really with her game. Really going for it, but even with winners to unforced errors, really not that bad at all. I mean, and the way she was setting points up from the back of the court was outstanding. It took her a little while to get used to the finishing shots. Just, think one just of the, a brilliant set of tennis, mm, though. One of the big stats for me, though, in that set, and really what it came down to was the big points, wasn't it? Nazarenka, four from 13. Break points. Serena Williams, four from seven. Yeah. Still in the zone tonight, Azarenka. So much fun seeing it again, isn't it? We were oh. Just saying off air how much we've missed her at, you know, her, her top game again. Yeah, just I, I mean, I absolutely love the Azarenka game. I always have done. Oh. And we have seen it. We've seen glimpses of it. Mm. It, it. It's just not been there consistently, point after point, game after game. I mean, it, it looks like it's not going anywhere in this match, which is fantastic news. It's not great news for Serena, though, who I think could do with uh, just a little bit of a breather. Serena has other ideas. <laughs> but wouldn't it be great for the, the sport? To have Azarenka finding her top gear again with all the, the young talent at the top end of the game. The phenomenal tennis we see with the top ten players. Throw her into the mix as well. Gets even more crammed. I mean, just thinking about how good Serena or how good as a ranker has been I mean how few players for me I, I think have genuinely outplayed Serena when she's been playing her best tennis I mean for me there are three Venus Henin and Azarenka are the three that I think have just have managed to just be better than her when she's been playing really well and it is because Azarenka can deal with that, that central court. She can deal with any pace and depth you throw at her, even the Serena pace and depth, which is just second to none. I mean, it, no one has anything like it. She just soaks it up. But it's interesting because then you, you look at the head-to-head -head overall, and it is still, of course, very one-sided. You just wonder, yes. of course, had either Muguruza or Osaka been born a little early and had that many matches against Serena Williams, what their records would be. Of course, Osaka and Muguruza both beaten Serena in a Grand Slam final.
been on it. Winners flying left, right and centre. It's not like the level's dipped in set two. Yeah, and what's frustrating when you're playing against this, of course, I mean, you're just facing an, an onslaught. That's what it is from start to finish. But even there, that low ball, you think that might catch her out. She's such a big hitter, but able to manipulate the racket over the top of the ball. And she has great hand skills as well, which is something that she really developed in the latter stages of her career. Yet another glittering winner. Yes. Again, just dealing with it so effortlessly. She will not be pushed back, as you say, just off the back foot. That's as much as she'll give up. She won't give up any more than that. and the extra time to think. That's the problem there for Azarenka. Anything that's been thrown at her super fast, she's dealt with. Finally a bit of time to think and misses. Superb return. And yet again, the player who goes up a break is broken Game back straight away. But going back to what you were saying with regards to Serena Williams playing at her peak and players to beat her at her peak, I, I would agree with what you did, did say on that. But I'd like to see, maybe in the future, but, you know, Serena Williams seems superhuman, so maybe she will go on forever. May see sort of her playing at the heat, her peak, and maybe Nazaka or Muguruza or, or someone to to see whether they can do it. As I said just a little earlier, I mean, no matter what happens in this match for Azarenka, I mean, this has just been a huge reminder as to what she is capable of, what she can do. And sometimes it does take a better opponent to drag out that level. I think most players will say that if they look back on their career and think about the best level they produce, it's often a match that they've lost because it has been kind of pulled out of them by somebody better and they've maybe lost a tight one. You can't really play your best tennis when you're winning comfortably in straight sets. I mean, you have to be pushed. That's the nature of it. This is the thing with this match tonight. They, they both seem to be pulling each other up at times. Yeah, and we just saw a shot there of uh, new coach Wim Fassett. I mean, he's got to be sitting there thinking, right, very straightforward. How do we reproduce this mm. day in, day out? Because for most of, well, for almost all of the matches she's playing, she's not playing Serena. Mm. She's playing the rest of the field. And also, of course, doesn't get to use the pace of someone like Serena. Late 
tackle, but it's just long. I'm struggling to also think of the last time someone won a game comfortably. Yeah. Every game has been a mini epic. Or had something in it. And this is another one. And they've been playing for an hour and 32 minutes. And yet only two games on the scoreboard in the second set. Torino hoping there'll be three after this point. Yes. She has rushed that one a little. Not quite as balanced as she thought she was going to be. been able to hold serve in this second set and Williams getting a nose in front it's 2-1 two two one. people that bought a ticket for the night session tonight been in for an absolute treat so far in this one on International Women's Day it's just been non-stop fun non-stop brilliant power tennis that's the question earlier on to myself it's been a rhetorical question about when was the last time there was a, an easy hold or an easy game? I can tell you there's only actually been three games in this match. Out of the 15 that have not been won by two points, have been won by more than two points, so either to 15 or, or to love. Only three games. Just show you every single game has been so competitive. And with regards to the amounts of, of breaks that we've seen, it's been pretty erratic with regards to players holding or breaking. 
I think also adds to the intensity. Oh, again, I mean, it's just incredible the whip Serena Williams gets on that forehand from that sort of position. Low balls not troubling her whatsoever. Still managing to find exceptional levels of pace on it. In great depth there. I mean, it didn't knock Serena off balance, but right on the line. Causing some issues. To allow the other to get away from them. Two all. Two games on. Of course, I mentioned the fact that the last title that Azarenka won was in Miami, which completed the Sunshine Double in 2016 because she won here, of course, beating Serena Williams in the final. And that was one of the very few achievements that Serena Williams has yet to tick off. She's never done the Sunshine Double, of course, a lot of that down to the fact that didn't play this tournament from 2001 through to 2000. 15 and the years in between that. So I'm sure that will be one of the goals she will be desperate to try and complete. It would be nice. There's not an awful lot left to tick off, mm. is there? There's only ever been three players to complete a Sunshine Double. Steffi Graf, 94 and 96. Kleisters in 05 and Azarenka, 2016, which shows you how tough it is to do. It's the ninth double fault for Williams, and again, maybe a little bit, excuse me, eighth, maybe a little bit because of the weather, because of the wind, and a lot because of Azarenka. It's, it's tough to gauge from our point of view with regards to the wind because they hit the ball so hard. Yeah. It almost is tough to gauge how much the wind is affecting the play. It certainly died down the, what it has been the last couple of nights 14, earlier on today.
just getting ready to say that that's a rarity again, one by 15, but again, it gets a little tighter. It just has been, hasn't it? All the way through, they've just kept each other in check. Turn from Azarenka. I mean, she, the down the line shots as well. And really, there is a, a long list of strengths for both players. Maybe Patrick is writing down the list of strengths of Azarenka, but returning down the line or oh, heading anything down the line has got to be one of them. serving, getting her out of another tight game. And the coach is on his feet. Williams leads. Williams. Team looked pretty happy. As Williams edges in front again. 3-2. winning this title in 1999 and 2001 so it's been a while for the American as a ranked champion here in 2012 and 2016 I think it's safe to say in all those years I'm not sure they've had too many better second round encounters getting there in the end I mean great court coverage though from the American just to stay with Azarenka for as long as she did oh, just look like that one just got the back edge of the line not too much Serena could do about that one that 
Late eight call. We've had so many close ones, and both of them have had little looks across to umpire. Chichak in the chair. How many challenges? So you said that very well, Chichak in the chair. <laughs> Not the easiest. 40, 15. Especially this time of night. Did just miss. It's a great game from Azarenka. And there you have it, a game that was won by more than two points. Three games on. Miss Williams has two challenges remain. Just look at the, the reaction as well. Mazarenka. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen her this up for a tennis match as well. Not to say she hasn't been determined and competitive in all the other tennis matches, because she only knows one way, but this has been another level. Well, she knows that she can't let up at all. She cannot drop any level of sharpness whatsoever. She'll be in major trouble. The match will be over, to be honest. When you look at the scoreline, it, of course, is very close, but Serena is only three games away from winning. So any slip up from here on out would be devastating for Azarenka. Still those short balls. Putaways, the dead balls, some people call them easy balls. They're not easy, but has been a little bit of a struggle for Williams. It's probably been the only thing that I would say, maybe you were talking about a little bit of rust. I think that's where mm. it's been. It's also funny, though, isn't it? Isn't the psychology of a, of a dead ball or an easier ball, in terms of the intensity of the hits and the power, then suddenly a shorter, slower ball. The adjustment you need to make. And the psychology of it, of course, running and running and running. And you can't, you've still got to do a lot of footwork for a slower, easier ball. Yeah. You often have to put more work in because mm. you have more time. Frustration just lingering with Serena that she's just not getting the short balls that she's used to. I mean, we just spoke about those put away balls, they're the really short ones. And the ones that she normally likes to lap up are just those ones that drop short. And Serena's just not giving up many, even under a huge amount of pressure. towards the sky but inspiration has always come from within with regards to Serena Williams leads again 4-3 
incredible stadium, isn't it? Third largest tennis stadium in the world. Capacity of 16,100. only to uh, the O2 Arena in London and the Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York City. they will be making plenty of noise in this one. Everyone, I'm sure, absolutely loving what they've been watching for the last hour and 53 minutes. It's been outstanding in quality and it, it's uh, amazing that it is a second round match and of course playing for a spot in the third round I feel like it's definitely worthy of more, but also just the 30 points will be given to the winner. I mean, as an extra, the lose will take him 35, winner 65. It, was that always something psychologically as a player on the circuit? When you played your best tennis and it's a phenomenal match and you come away and you lose it and then you go, well, that was worth nothing in terms of points and then obviously a bit of money but especially if it's early on in a draw does that hurt a lot does that take time to get over um it can do oh. Oh. I think if you if you win i mean the real reward is being in the third round you still have a chance to win the tournament mm. and i mean playing like this either of these two could win this tournament and that really is the main thing you get an opportunity to go out and do it all again but um doesn't quite quite fit the match you're watching, does it? 30 points for the winner. Oh, where did that angle come from? Serena Williams can do shots on the court that just don't look possible it didn't look possible at all i'm not really not sure how she did it it's kind of my my job to try and explain it but <laughs> just broke the wrists around the outside of the ball such a flat strike Time opens up the court with the forehand wing. And is Serena Williams turning the screw when she needs to? few times with Serena finding the big serve at break point down this time it's Azarenka's turn going back to the conversation we were having we had Lauren Davis on this court a little earlier on and of course her match against Simona Halep over a year ago at the Australian Open early on lost at 15-13 probably playing the best tennis she's ever played and since then took her almost over a year to win another match in the WTA circuit so there have been occasions where players have lost brutal top-level encounters and it's taken them a long time to get over it. You just hope that doesn't happen to Azarenka here. Yeah, I just couldn't see it happening with her level of experience. Mm. I mean, she's already been there and done it. And I just think this has been just the best reminder for her and she has had such a hard time of it recently. Yeah. Serena Williams breaks again. And will serve for the match. I don't know this officially, but I would have to say this is the best match between two mothers that has ever been played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Which is rather apt on the day it is today. International Women's Day. Serena Williams serving for the match, 5-3.
Didn't miss by much. strong on that serve, Nazarenka just unable to keep her racket steady on the ball. And of course, against anyone else, with, or anyone else we were watching, just wonder we're trying to close out the match whether there'll be demons in the mind. Serena Williams, of course, that famous match against Pliskova, the Australian Open, unable to get over the line there. Looking like she's going to make sure this one ends on her terms. Making no mistake there on that short ball. And it's been the sort of shot that she has maybe struggled a little with. Not this time. She's so good at playing the big moments. serve again right on the baseline and on the service line thank you ladies and gentlemen thank you Must have been a word used to describe Serena Williams time and time again. Match point. just will not budge and I love that this match is still what it was a couple of hours ago when we began it is just physical bruising tennis the standards that they are demanding of themselves so high through the roof the corner can you get any more accurate than that Advantage. 
It had to be that good, and was. Which would pretty much sum up her performance tonight, if she can win this point. that through this game particularly I mean she really has been going for the serve and the second serve so I'm not surprised that she went for it yet again there I mean it's been working it really has been pinning Azarenka back minutes ago this match started at 100 miles an hour and they're still going at that speed there is no let up Serena Williams win that point. What a return from Azarenka. <laughs> it's always getting a little bit silly now, isn't it? I mean, they're <laughs> painting the lines. Because it, it's putting everything together. Of course the brute force, of course the physicality, and it's over and over and relentless. The <laughs> accuracy, hitting the lies, the net play we've seen. I mean, they're laughing at each other now. slams you've won closing out a match is always tough especially against a great champion like Azarenka yes. but how many times has she done that today another huge serve at break point down Simply sensational encounter. Won by a simply sensational Serena. Arguably the best second round match you will ever see. Tennis has missed this rivalry. Both inspirational women and mothers. But yet they have shown tonight there's still plenty left in the tank. A phenomenal display of power hitting and an exhibition of just incredible tennis. Serena Williams wins 7-5, 6-3 in two hours and six minutes. Well, what can you say about that? A sensational effort. The best match we've seen from Azarenka in quite some time. She knows it. Serena knows it. Hopefully that is the start of some pretty big things because... Boy, that was good. And it was just met with Serena. I mean, typical, fierce, competitive Serena. And yes, there were some surprises in this match for me. Yes, it was physical. Yes, it was brutal. Big, big blows there. But the movement was outstanding. The court coverage from both. We saw some really accurate hitting as well as some little touches around the net. 
the match had it all and really great that they could smile at the end of it I did love the embrace I mean <laughs> you have to know that there's so much respect of course between these two players and I think that respect if it was possible has grown even more tonight through to the third round after all that Serena Williams Serena, first, I have to just ask you that the hug at the net is one of the most genuine friendships we've seen in a long time. Talk about your, your mad respect for Victoria Azarenka. Well, I truly love her. She's a really good friend, and, um, you know, she's just, she's a fellow mom, and she's a former number one, just like me, former number one, and it's, she's an amazing person, and so it's so good to you know, it's hard to play someone that you're so close with, but it's also really invigorating and, and cool. And on, uh, uh, when you think about it, you come out here, it's National Women's Day, to come out here as a mom, as a businesswoman, as an athlete, and that put on that kind of performance has to make it that much more special, yes? Yeah, it, and I definitely didn't expect to play like this tonight, and, you know, it was... It was crazy, but it was it was really cool. And yeah, it's National Women's Day. It's shout out to all my fellow ladies out there. And you know, it's awesome being a woman and being a mom and um, just being out here and celebrating this great day. Um, it's great. Okay, so I would be uh, remiss if I didn't ask you about your performance tonight. You used every single inch of the court, a uh, couple, of, uh, more than a couple exchanges of breaks in the first set there. But once you sunk your teeth into that match, uh, your tennis was flawless. How, how do you feel about your performance tonight? Well, I thought I played well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, you know, playing champions like Victoria makes me realize that um, I still have a ton of improvement to do and you know, I definitely had the desire to do it. So um, Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> Serena you're in Southern California practically home for you a lot of love when you walked out in this uh, arena uh, Listen to that It's always home for you special to be back I know it's getting chilly and we're gonna get you off the court But I know you want to give a shout out to uh, to acknowledge all the love that you felt when you walked out on this court yeah, um, I'm from Compton, so, you know, CPT. Um, <laughs> it always feels good to play in Southern California, where I was born and raised, and, you know, I'm a California girl, so it feels good. All right, well, welcome home, Serena. Will you autograph yeah. some tennis balls? Coming to you from Serena Williams, everyone. Well, to use her words, that was crazy and cool. Certainly was. And the other thing that she said, she's got a ton of improvement to make on that performance that that's a little scary very much so i think sending a, a very clear message to the rest of the field oh, but it's great to have her in indian wells and of course absolutely loved this tournament the crowd warming to her wanting to get off the court which you can understand after that battle cold night here in the uh, Californian desert well I mean you can look at stats all you like there Naomi but it was just phenomenal yeah the stats do not give you a flavor as to what we just witnessed you just can't put it into numbers I mean the intensity the emotion it was absolutely outstanding the aggression from Serena Williams and it was matched by Azarenka she was just dealing with it look at that 25 winners 24 of unforced errors from Azarenka I just don't think she could have played any better it was outstanding from her and it's a five and three straight sets loss phenomenal and as uh, we said already let's just hope that inspires her on to more phenomenal tennis for Victoria Azarenka, but seeing her back at that level was just wonderful to watch. And of course for Serena Williams, well, you beat one two-time Grand Slam champion, and then you've got to play another in the next round. And that's exactly the situation for her up against Galbina Muguruza in the third round. Also wins today for Conta and Burtons. They're also in that section. Victoria but that completes the action Azarenka. from us on Stadium 1 from Naomi Kavanaugh from the South Pedos. We States say goodbye. But of course, there's still some Serena action from Stadium 2. Alina Svitolina and Sophia Kennett.